Welcome back guys to our Pokemon Platinum playthrough. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get the Adamant Orb, the Lustrous Orb, and Palkia and Dialga. So we're going to do all that in one straight video. So first, you're going to notice that I'm here in Celestic Town. This is where we need to start. Uh, you don't have to do it this way, but this is probably the most efficient. The reason being is we need to talk to Cynthia's grandmother. So in the northern part of town, just come into this giant cabin or home, and you'll talk to this little old lady right here. Well, hello, you look good. I did some research of my own since that spot of trouble last time. Mount Coronet's acting up and had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. It's a book and it's quite old. Let me read a bit for you. The bearer of the shining adamant orb summons Dialga to the spear pillar. The guardian Pokemon of time will answer the call. The bearer of the shining lustrous orb summons Palkia to the spear pillar. The Pokemon that binds the spatial dimensions will answer the call. It seems the people of long ago met both Dialga and Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space. Okay, it's important to talk to her first. You can get the Adamant and Lustrous Orbs first before talking to her, but the problem is, is you need to go to Mount Coronet to get the orbs. Coming back here and talking to her means you have to go through a bunch of different steps again uh, in Mount Coronet. So it's probably best to just start here. But if you already have the Adamant and the Lustrous Orbs, then don't worry. You'll just focus on the part of the video where we get Dialga and Palkia, respectively. So couple things we're gonna go ahead and fly directly to Orberg now that's where we need to head and you're gonna need quite a few things so I suggest being uh, loaded up on as many ultra balls or other various uh, pokeball items that you can have to uh, use on Palkia and Dialga respectively they're level 70 so they're pretty tough you're gonna want to make sure that you've got a Pokemon that knows waterfall surf uh, strength, Rock, Smash, I believe, and uh, Rock Climb as well. I also suggest that you have as many Max Repels or Super Repels or Repel items that you can possibly carry, uh, just because I'm going to use them myself and avoid all the wild encounters. So we're going to go north uh, to Route 207 here from Orberg. I have all the stuff that I just mentioned. We're going to go ahead and go to my right or east, and we are going to pop right inside Mount Coronet. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go my bag. I'm going to go ahead and pop a Max Repel. There's probably a couple places you can get these. I got mine from the uh, Pokemon League that spot right outside the Elite Four. Water's a deep blue color. Yes, we're going to go ahead and surf on this. And we're going to go right across. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get the Adamant and Lustrous Orbs. And then we're going to go directly to Palkia and Dialga after that. Go up here and use Rock Climb. Yes. Now, I wanted to combine this into one single video of instruction because both the Adamant and Lustrous Orbs are right next to each other. And Palkia and Dialga are also, as you guessed, right next to each other. So come this way, and you can just follow my path directly. There might be more than one way to get to the exact location that I'm taking you, but I find this to be the most beneficial and uh, the least time-consuming naturally. Typically when I do these instructional videos, I always try to make sure that we get through without wasting any time. And uh, that is my goal with this as well. So we just go up. We follow this, and we're going to go in that cave that we just saw there in the top left that was all broken. Pop up in here. We're going to go up and to the right. Okay, we're going to go directly up and follow this path. Okay. We're getting close to the point where I think my max repel is about to wear off. Ooh, called that one. All right, we're going to go ahead and use Rock Climb right up here. And at the top of this, we're going to go directly to the right and inside this little cave. I'm going to go ahead and use another one just because I want to make sure that we don't encounter any wild Pokemon. I don't really have an interest in doing that. We're going to go left. And we are going to surf across this and use Waterfall directly up to a cave that was otherwise inaccessible. Now, there's actually three items in this cave right here, and one more addition to the uh, orbs. So the orbs are here, but we're going to click on this rock, and we get the stone plate. There's a text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. Three beings were born to bind time and space. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Alright, so we go ahead and grab the adamant orb. Then we go over here, and we grab the lustrous orb. And then we can leave. Now, like I said, the order of this is up to you, but I suggest doing it this way so you don't have to leave Mount Coronet. We can do it all in one go. We're going to go out the way that we came. 
And then we're going to go directly left instead of right this time. We're going to go through this patch of grass. And we're going to go up and in through this little entrance right here. We're going to go straight forward and use Rock Climb on this. You'll notice that we are in the same room where we got the orbs just now. It's right down there. Going to run around down here. And out. Okay, so now we just got to follow this path. Go down. And then right here, we're going to take the rock climb on the left. Which at first might be a little bit more difficult to see, but it's there. Going up here. And then we're going to go down these stairs. And we're going to enter the cave right here. Ah, perfect timing. Pop another one of these just in case. Okay. And then follow this path up these stairs. And then up again, up again, and out through here, and through here. Now, I suggest right here is where you save it. Now, here's how it's going to work. You're going to encounter, whoops, one of them at a time. You don't counter both, but this is what's going to happen. So, we are going to save it if I actually knew how to save it. There we go. Save the game. And I mean, you can do it at really any point. You can save it out there. You can save it right here, whatever. I'm just doing it here. What we're going to do is we're going to go out. We're going to encounter one, and then we're going to come back through this little uh, opening in the cave, and then uh, that will initiate the other one. So first things first, you have this blue crystal. You're just going to go and you're going to click on it on the other side of the rift in a fantastically bizarre place. It's Dialga. Would, will you challenge Dialga? Yes. Okay. So then you'll notice that this is a blue crystal for Dialga. Palkia is a purple crystal that will appear the next time that we come onto this platform. Now, because I'm going to avoid uh, wasting time, I'm not going to throw a bunch of different balls at him. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with the master ball real quick. send it directly to the box. Now you might have already used your Master Ball on another Pokemon and there's a whole bunch of legendaries that I've already provided instructions on you can catch. Giratina, Legendary Birds, the Lake Trio, the Reggie Trio, Reggie Gigas, etc, etc, etc. There's a whole bunch. So just keep in mind that if you don't have your Master Ball, hopefully you've got a, a lot of other balls that you can use here. Alright, so then once you leave... And then go back out. The blue crystal should be gone, and you should now see the purple crystal on the right opposite of where the blue was. Yep, there we go. Or the pink, purple, whatever you want to call it. On the other side of the rift, in a fantastically bizarre place, it's Palkia. Will you challenge Palkia? Yes, we will. So, same concept for me. We're not going to go ahead and uh, throw a whole bunch of balls at this. We are just going to throw a Master Ball directly at it, and boom, there you go. After all, my job is to show you how to get here. You don't want to see me struggle catching it. So, also, it might be useful if hopefully you're watching this video uh, before following all the steps yourself. Keep in mind that it might be wise to uh, have an escape rope depending on your circumstances. Obviously, you want to have a Pokemon that knows fly so you can get out of here very quickly. But uh, that should be it. There you go. Whatever your method to get out of Mount Coronet uh, on, from the top of Spear Pillar here, you should hopefully uh, be leaving with both of these legendary Pokemon. You should have Palkia and Dialga, and uh, there you go. No need to thank me. Instead, if you want, go ahead and hit the like button uh, down below. Show that you liked the video if it was useful, if it was helpful, if you uh, found any sort of benefit in any way. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Helps the channel grow, and that means a lot to me. And uh, if you have any feedback, comments, tips, or suggestions, or anything that you want to say, leave it down in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that uh, you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time when we continue the Pokemon Platinum playthrough right here on the Mark and I channel. All right, guys, take care, be well, and I'll see you later.